Show Anthem and the East African House here at Safari Park Hotel. You. <laughs> We believe that uh, the resilience of our farmers and food systems depend uh, a lot on how well innovative technologies have been embraced and integrated into food uh, production systems for the benefit of farmers and the whole uh, populace. We can say with uh, some certainty that the last mile delivery pipelines for agricultural technologies to our farmers have not done them justice to actualizing the Africa 2063 agenda and the UN SDGs. While science, technology, and innovation uh, potentials are rapidly evolving, it has not been matched by the required policy support to enable the effective deployment of tried and tested products. We, as a, a private philanthropy, we can take risks and make big bets that often the public sector can't make because they have short-term political constraints. And sometimes the private sector is not ready to invest in new technologies until some of the risk is mitigated or reduced. So that's where we can come in as a foundation and fund innovation. Yes, we felt that the private sector was the enemy. We also felt that the private sector was just a homogeneous group. There is different types of private sector. Some can do the work with us. Some will be with us to ensure that our innovation is taken to scale. You know, those companies can take some of our discoveries, formulate this, turn into products that can be sold in the market. Others will come in like the equity bank to invest in making sure that our technologies are accessible by those who do not have the means. So it's important for us to be part of the conversation. For me, the message is that we must be part of the same conversation.